So yeah, I'm building this PC for a client who needs Windows XP on it. So I hope I can get some hard drives and test some usage, test some YouTube, some games on it before I sell this. I have installed Windows 10 on this PC before on a 500 gigabyte hard drive, but I think the hard drive is dead and it's really, really slow navigating around Windows. Everything just keeps not responding. I've also tried to install drivers for the GT710 but halfway through the installation, the installation just crashed. So I have installed the Radeon HD 6450 and uh, we'll see if the driver is installed on this pretty much dead hard drive. So here we go, got the PC running, task manager, there we go, you can see 6GB of RAM, the i3 540 and the hard drive. Uh, we did the hard drive calm down a bit, so yeah, I got the HD 6450 on it. So yeah, let's test some browser testing and then some YouTube and then we're gonna install some benchmark apps like Cinebench and uh, yeah, let's see how it goes. So yeah, I had some issues with the internet, so now we're gonna open a Microsoft Edge and let's go straight up to YouTube. Let's open Task Manager also. Let's see the usage of the CPU. As you can see, yeah, the whole this is pretty much dying right now at this point. Just opening YouTube, the CPU is pretty much fine. There we go. This is my channel, of course. Let's see. Yeah, pretty much for daily use, watching YouTube and stuff. It's pretty all right. Let's check out uh, some 1080p videos. Yeah, I got a little bit of lag there. Check up, check out Dot Manager again. Yep, struggles to play 1080p HP video a bit sometimes. Yeah, but pretty much for YouTube, it does the job. So now we're gonna download Cinebench R15 and R23. Alright, so I'm gonna catch you guys after I'm done installing all of this because it's loading, I can't even click this. Uh, so, yeah, yeah, there we go. Uh, we have Autumn 3 installing right now, MS Afterburner for the games, and Cinebench R15. So, as you can see, the Cinebench R15 benchmark is done. CPU, we got almost the same performance as a mobile i5 third gen. And on the single core, I mean, it's slow, yeah, of course, but it's pretty much alright for some daily usage. And as for the GPU, it does the job for casual usage and all the games so uh, we're gonna test out of r23 and some games so here are the cine r23 results okay this is modern warfare 1 sadly we don't have the gt710 so we could test more on the cpu but this is the lowest settings at 720p and uh, yeah as you can see the gpu is struggling so I'm gonna lower the resolution so I can make me more CPU bound and yeah but at 720p with 70 fps you guys can't see that because the capture card is at 30 fps but it's it's pretty good pretty smooth like for an old gaming PC so, like 2000 2010 it's pretty good so 640 by 480 lower setting the same and yeah, it's still GPU bound, but uh, more FPS, 130 FPS, like, yeah, for old games, this runs pretty good. Over here. So here we found the forest with the lowest settings and let's see if the game even launches. Oh, like, okay, that wasn't expected. So yeah, the game is installed on an external SSD. So here we go in the game, we're gonna lower the settings to the absolute minimum. So we're gonna create a new game.
surprisingly 15 fps of course we are the gpu bound so yeah let's keep the cutscene and let's walk around the forest a bit and see how much fps we get oh that's actually a pretty nice spawn i've played this lot time last time with my friends and we got a pretty bad spawn like okay nice view and all okay it's actually really payable like 30 fps like wow I did not expect this and of course if you have a better GPU you will get more FPS because that CPU is at setting at 30 40 usage. Now we have Half-Life at the lowest settings with the lowest resolution so that we can get maximum CPU stress. There we go. Yeah this pretty much like no comments like this definitely deserves a better GPU. So let's test it at 720p. So, yeah, clearly we are GPU bound, but they definitely, if you have this CPU and a better GPU, you're in for a lot, like, this is a really good PC for all the titles, really smooth. So got the lower setting in seven three D and yet again GPU bound. Yeah, okay, this is froze. And yeah, by the way, I have some delay because I'm watching it directly from my capture card. Okay, that delay is pretty bad. I can play it directly from my capture card. So we are in Minecraft, the normal settings, everything normal except the resolution is at 720p as you can see instead of 1080p, everything normal didn't change anything about except the resolution. So I'm gonna create a world and uh, Minecraft is really CPU intensive so uh, I hope we see some interesting results and it crashed. Okay I'm gonna be right back at you if it works. So yeah, back in Minecraft, single player, we're gonna create a creative world, and yeah, let's see how much FPS we get, because this game is really, really CPU intensive, so it's gonna be interesting if it will smooth out, or if we're still lagging, because we are at, I think, 8 chunks is the normal uh, settings, so yeah, let's let it load and see how much FPS we get. At the start, I don't, I don't think will be GPU bound, but uh, yeah, okay, into desert. Desert is not really that intensive. I think the most intensive area is uh, jungle biome. So yeah, loading in to FPS, all because of height when the chunks. So I'm gonna lower the chunks maybe and fly around for a bit. So lower the chunks. So it smooths it out a little bit but still laggy. As you can see 100% CPU usage, still the same. Yeah, even some areas don't load out. I don't know if it's the CPU or the hard drive. So I'm gonna put the render distance as default again. Yeah, CPU spikes up, but eventually it's okay. Never mind. I thought it would smooth out a bit. Maybe eight is a little too much. Let's try four render chunks and minimum on simulation. 
on simulation these days. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty unpayable, but like, I think if you lower the render descent to 2, which is not recommended, but like, you can't see anything, you could play like this. But maybe if you have an SSD or a better first gen CPU, it could be better, but uh, yeah, back to 5 render chance and it's still, still, still like hell again. compared to the i 7 600 k and I'm gonna also compare it to the Core 2 Duo I think that's the one of the fastest Core 2 Duo let's randomly compare it to other CPUs three point eight gigahertz two cores for threads and 74 TDP everything here on the Biostar motherboard so I couldn't get a choice for the Call of Duty because I did not count the benchmark to 1% lows and average. 